Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. Today, eh, random. Kane. Sure, wonderful. Okay, so with a lucky foot, we good. Yeah, you know, that'll save me some time. I could go for that. I could definitely go for a Splunger hat. That's totally cool. Uh, yeah, so lucky foot, better pills. They can't be bad, only good or neutral. As Kane, we have a 1.2 times damage multiplier, so we always have 20% more damage, which is pretty sweet. Alright, fine. Blow up all you want. See if I care. I don't need to do the work for you. So now I know where both secret rooms are. Uh, I'd have to say that the top secret room is likely more important, but I don't want to go there until the end in case it's a uh, room with an eternal heart. So that I can actually take the eternal heart and not worry about losing it. Since I currently do have no soul hearts. Uh, anyway, we also have better gambling in general. So that's pretty wonderful. Okay, I'm glad I didn't get hit there. Key is nice. And eh, let's just see what's going on in here. Sure, as much as I'd love to use a bomb for that, I definitely can't afford it. Unless I get one plus one free. Well then. Sometimes the game's kind. And then we get two bombs for it. That's really good. Still not going to waste any. Uh, I'm going to go to the secret rooms at the very last possible opportunity and make things work there. Okay, calm down, Famine. We're gonna get a cube of meat here, which I'd rather not, but I can't really do anything about it. Really, I just, I only ever wanna fight Pestilence at the second cave's floor and then no other horsemen for the rest of the run. That's the ideal thing now. But it feels like every time I get something that's even close to that kind of possibility, I just get no horsemen, <laughs> which is actually a problem. I do want one cube of meat for sure but I don't want more. Though one more is acceptable. Alright, there's Famine dead. I took some damage, which is okay. And now let's go to the secret rooms and see if there's anything compelling in them. May as well check the first one first, because it's here. Six cents is not enough to make me want to go to the shop. That's a risk that I don't see the need to take. And then I'm hoping that there's an eternal heart in this top secret room. That would be about the best. Sorry about the sniffling. My nose just doesn't like me right now. So I, I can't really fix it. Oh, fine. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why couldn't you give me something better? Couldn't you have given me a better guppy item, maybe? I'm not taking that. There's no way you can talk me into it right now. It's just a terrible, silly idea. <laughs> Alright. Let's make something better happen this floor. Of course, this floor I'm going to get two guppy items and regret not taking the dead cat, but that's definitely not the point. Uh, I'll save it for after the secret room. May as well prioritize with the uh, the shop being a very distinct possibility. So Pinky Eye makes it so that we have a one-tenth chance to shoot a poison tier. And that will poison enemies for damage over time. It's pretty nice. I would really like if this Tinted Rock gave me two soul hearts, preferably. I mean, small rock's also acceptable, but two soul hearts is what I'm looking for. Or just three bombs, and then I accidentally red switch my way to wasting a bomb. Don't take that, because I really dislike it. <clears throat> I prefer not having it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I accidentally bomb because my hand barely touched the E key. But that's the kind of keyboard I have, and I pretty much opted for exactly that possibility. First spacebar item, My Little Unicorn. Sure. That's, it is what it is. I'll take it. That's going to be invincibility, allowing us to do contact damage. And that's cool. It's... It's like... I don't remember how many frames it is of invincibility. But it's good enough. Hmm. Okay, I like that news. Though that makes my choice kind of tough. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Alright. I'll think about it. Of course the dead cat's there again. If you had taken the dead cat, you wouldn't have it there. You're not wrong, but like, no. So I don't want those, and I don't want the shots beat up there. 
Uh, how much health is laying around in my life? Uh, one half heart. Now eh, let's play it all. Alright. Only got three cents. That's not necessarily what I was looking for. How is that devil room still there? That's not even reasonable. That's like straight up not even reasonable. Oh, that's an eternal heart. That's right. Okay, let's play this dude. See if he wants to give me something. Immediately gives me a compass. Okay. Let's go to the curse room. See if that wants to give me anything. And... No. And then the top secret room. See if it's an eternal heart so we can use that with the other eternal heart to immediately get a health up. That would be optimal. I don't have enough bombs to make good use of this, sadly. So what I'm gonna do is play the fortune teller until I'm out of money. See where I end up with it. Because I can't lose. There's a very small, I've never done it, chance of losing that you get nothing, but I can't get a fortune. All right then, that was easy. Let's play this three more times. There we go. Health up, speed up. I don't like the speed up, but I'll take it. It's also four hearts of recovery, and that's pretty much what it is. That's okay. So we got the compass, which shows us the general location of all the icon rooms without showing us how to get to them. We have the world card, which will just show us the full map. What? How do you do this game? I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. I was about to die in real life just because of that. That was amazing. I really can't speak right now. Everything sounds weird. Do I want to save a key here? I don't know. Yeah, why not? Probably wasteful. Two bombs instead of one key. Not a good trade. But we got a really good item. So I like that quite a lot. What we got is Halo Flies, that's uh, two orbital flies that will block tears and damage fly-type enemies, or at least certain fly-type enemies. Not necessarily every single one. <clears throat> I just took some silly red heart damage there, so I'm pretty unlikely to get a Devil Room now. Which is not the end of the world by any means. I don't really mind. Uh, now that we've passed up a deal with the Devil, we are on Angel Room chance, though. 50% to replace a Devil Room. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm thinking that what I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm pretty fearless right now because of my orbitals. Don't do that. Don't be fearless. Try to dodge. Uh, but I'm going to get a charge for this item. Okay, spiders are not fly-type enemies. Only the cube of meat will damage these as far as our orbitals go. I wish they were flies, though, so that I could kill them with my flies. Uh, no, not one bomb. Although, actually, I could go to the top secret room with that. Anyway, I'm going to get a charge for this. One bomb for three is a wonderful trade that I will certainly take. Get out of here. We leave the room and re-enter so that the blast radius is increased. And boom. Now we fight this room and get our charge for our spacebar item. How much health do you freaking have? Oh, come on. That one didn't hit me, at least. I should experiment with the whole running into walls thing, because that might actually save me from these explosions as well. Same way it does with Kamikaze. Alright, Nickel. That could be useful. Eh, well, I've already taken red hard damage on the floor. So there's no reason not to do this, I suppose. Alright. Sure. This will help me not take red heart damage against the boss. Which I can't complain about. I think that's wonderful. Wonderful is the word of like my life at the moment, I guess. Alright, so now let's check out the top secret room just because I want to check this out. I should have just entered the boss room so that I could have fought the boss beforehand. But actually, I'm okay. I'm not going to take that. No, that, that is not bad or anything. Oh, yes. Uh, because that would... I mean, that'd just be helpful. Oh, no. Okay, barely made it through that. 
Uh, Mom's Pearl is just better though. It it is an extra chance that we get a soul heart instead of a non-specific heart, so I'd rather have that. Uh, that champion hollow dropped money when each section was destroyed, so that's cool. And uh, I don't want the Cat of Nine Tails because it's just a shot speed up, and that's pretty bad in every way. Except that it's a small range up as well, basically. And it's not actually going to affect the range stat. It's It just increases the distance that your tears can travel. But otherwise, it's completely bad. Worse homing, worse... Uh, what? That's garbage. Worse homing, worse lump of coal, worse everything. Uh, worse uh, shot angling. Knockback. Terrible thing. It's just bad to have. Would not recommend. Alright, there we go. Get three more bombs at a low cost of one bomb. And portable slot. Of course it's the portable slot. If it weren't the portable slot, this wouldn't be a good run, obviously. Now the sad thing about that is that we have three orbitals already, and those will totally destroy my flies that I spawn. But maybe it could work out. You know, I could I could uh could get this working. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I would kill this boss multiple times. Oh, wonderful start. That's really good. I didn't even mean to press that. Okay, we're still fine. Oh, come on. Pretty Fly is useless. I already have all the Pretty Flies. Okay, I'm winning every time, but that's not a thing that's guaranteed or anything. Like, <laughs> see? I lost. I just want a Black Fly, though. Give me a Black Fly. So then I can leave the room without killing it, ideally and then re-enter, and I will be able to fight the boss again. See? what I tell you? Now, rooms unexplored according to the map. In we go. Fight the hollow again. Though the problem this time is that there's a, an item we have to avoid, and um, a bunch of drops that I'd rather avoid, because it would be advantageous if they're still there so that I can use them to avoid more, uh, to avoid like killing the black flies immediately. So, oh god. What is my card anyway? I've forgotten. I can't recall. There's a lot of health though, so I don't mind losing it. Because I already didn't get the double room, I'm not going to. So, I really... Or angel room, of course, because that is a possibility at the moment. So, I mean, eventually there are going to be enough drops that the room starts lagging. So, getting rid of some of the hearts is good. Alright, you're almost dead, Hollow. Now you're dead. Jesus, Jesus, that's good. That's very good. What is this? The world. Okay. Um... Pills can still be... Uh... Telepills? But let's take a chance. Bombs are key. I like that. Let's take the world card again. Alright, that's good. Starting off with drops to shield me from a fly. Now give me a fly. At any time. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get another one. That's okay, though. At least I got a decent item. 0.5 damage up. Small range up. It's nice when I can get anything useful, because, of course, the item there is useless. It's just all around bad. Okay, another soul heart is good. We'll leave it about where we entered. Okay. I guess we're good to go. I... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm satisfied with this. We got something. We needed a damage up, and we did manage to get one. Even if it was small, it was something. Immediate item room again. Oh, man, it's not enough of a range up, obviously. And I just didn't get the stuff that I wanted to get done. Ah, thank you, Cube of Meat. Cube of meat so good. Oh, God, that was silly. Spiderweb's trolling me. Uh, Larry Jr. trolling me, too. Okay. You're dead. You're dead. Get another soul heart. All right, sure. There's no curse room this floor. Okay, this is good. This is just basically, not entirely, but pretty much just a direct upgrade to the Spelunker hat. It makes the secret rooms open to us instead of just telling us that we're next to them. But it doesn't tell us when we're next to a mini-boss room or sacrifice room or something. 
then again, uh, we know that now because of the compass. So, the Splunker hat is actually worthless now that we have uh, this here thing that we've got. Okay, can kill these sacks without too much problem. Oh, I one-shot their spiders now. That's good. That is good news. Note that I don't one-shot all spiders. Spiders and like enemies in general spawned by other enemies are weaker health-wise, which I appreciate. It's nice to have. Oh, that's great news too. I still have no money, which is why there's no arcade here. I needed to have at least five cents, which was, you know, something I probably could have saved for, but I also just didn't... I wanted to get another reroll at the uh, boss. Carrion Queen. So don't reroll the Carrion Queen because, uh, like, with the black fly trick or with, like, killing yourself. Any way of rerolling a boss, don't do it on Carrion Queen. It should spawn with no butt and then be unkillable. And even this one with no butt would be unkillable because it couldn't spawn the hearts without a butt. So really, don't do it. Now I'm just focusing on killing the hearts because that does do damage to the Carrion Queen. It's not fast, but it's something. It's just easier for the most part. Alright, these little hearts stand no chance against me. And then where possible, I shoot at the Carrion Queen itself. I like how the shots that they shoot are almost as big as the hearts themselves. Okay, now this should do it. Wonderful, another shot speed up. You gotta be kidding me. This game is ridiculous. So, I want to find the top secret room. And then I want to come back here. I want the top secret room to be the one with a bunch of hearts. And since I have the x-ray vision, I don't actually have to worry about being able to get back in because I have free entry. So that's no big deal. But I still want to find it first. Even though I don't feel too bad about going down to low health to go to the boss challenge room, especially since both of the shots, actually all three of the shot speed ups that are in there are gone. The uh, boss challenge room is pretty likely, not guaranteed, but pretty likely to be useful. I just would rather have a backup for my health. Oh, you just... <laughs> I need more damage, really badly. Okay, five cents, that's good news. That might mean that we get enough to go to the shop just from using the temperance card, if we're lucky. Which, maybe. I don't know, I can't guarantee it, but I could say it's not unlikely compared to stuff. Okay, so no top secret room over here. I need so much more damage. Like, 20% more is not enough just on its own. You actually need something to have 20% more of. I mean, yeah, 20% more of base damage is not bad. That's like, you start with 4.2 instead of 3.5. But, that's not a ton. I like this room. When everyone cooperates. Red hearts, red hearts, red hearts, please. That's an eternal heart. I like that too, but I was hoping for red hearts so that I'd feel less bad going low. I'll still do it, of course. I, come on, I've got to. There's no other option. This was a normal slot machine, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. So I'll do this right here. Hopefully it gives me a blood bag at the very last moment. That would be the best. I will go down to half a heart, of course. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, okay, so that's enough for the shop. Now give me a blood bag. That's not a blood bag. Alright. Health up, really all I ever wanted. Now I just have to kill Monstro and Larry Jr., and that should be very easy. That's uh, three Larry Juniors, each with three segments, even though it'll only look like they have two. The third one is just hiding under the second one, and you'll notice that when I do damage to those segments, that it's just... Uh, not the same. It's not taking. It's not turning red normally, because the one under it's turning red. All right, monstro. What? Okay, I had to be careful there. But you see, they spawn at three, and then one just goes under the other, and then I do the red stuff to the one under. It's weird. If I can kill their faces first, though, the full section, like all of that Larry Jr. dies. 
instead of just the segment that I'm shooting. So that would be cool if I could do that to all three. Which is a so far so good kind of thing. Eh, not that time. <clears throat> not the end of the world, though. Get out of here. Two of hearts. Okay. Don't do it. Uh, fine. I'm gonna keep going. See? That's why. It was only... The, the chance doesn't increase or anything. That was just me saying, come on, you owe me one right now, game. Because it is a 1 in 15 chance that's not huge, but it's not terrible. Treasure map should show me the full map now. Uh, since I also have the compass, that means that it is the full map with all of the locations of things and everything. So I like that. And uh, the top secret room still isn't going to be on the map, but other than that, everything is. Treasure map shows me the layout of the floor without showing me the rooms, by the way. If I only had it alone. Without showing you what they are. But the compass shows me what they are. So that was a good floor. Everything went as I wanted it to. I don't have much money still. That shop was only a 50% chance to be greed. So it, it wasn't. Let's take the world and be on our way. And then soon, hopefully, we can get really busy with... Um, Rerolling whatever boss it is we want to re-roll. Oh wait, what is this? Nope. Alright. This room should not be too bad, but then again. One never knows with chubbers. There's a mini boss next to the boss. That's interesting. Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh, I can't believe that was spaced so perfectly. So acceptably. Uh, I really want to open this, so I'm going to. No! I don't want any more speed than I already have. I have too much. So I'm going to not do that. Unless I get flight somewhere along the line of right now. But I don't expect to do that. Alright, so here's our item room. Oh, this is an unfortunate room. Oh god, I'm stuck. Okay, I've escaped the masks for the moment. Oh my god, I'm so bad sometimes. Okay. Let's stop taking damage now. And let's that heart stop running away. Let's get this tinted rock. Small rock would be so important. Not today, though. Robo Baby is not a familiar that I think is okay. Worth having, etc., so I'm going to skip that. Uh, the reason to go to this room is in case the top secret room is right there. I'm going to go to the top secret room first. Alright, I'll get something for sure out of this, so why not? Oh yeah, world card is useless now, because it shows me exactly what I already have. So I may as well just use that and get rid of it. High Priestess summons the foot of Mom to stomp on an enemy. Does lots of damage. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Why did I run into the damage that was so easy to avoid? Oh, I didn't even realize. I should have realized a little better. Okay, range up. That's actually really good as cane. Because you start with, like, no freaking range. Okay. Oh, I almost picked up the speed up. I don't even know if I can have more speed. I think I can have, um... God, really? I can have point four more? That is far too much that I do not want. Can I really have point four more? Have I only gotten two speed ups in the form of the two blood bags I have? Because that's what I'm thinking is the case, and that means I can have point four more speed. Yeah. Yeah, I can have point four more speed. That would be awful. Because I'm already far too fast for anyone's good. Not that I can't handle it, not that I haven't been handling it, it's just that, no. <laughs> no, no, no. And by the way, the way that speed works and how it maxes out is that everyone starts with whatever speed they start with, and beyond that, they can gain up to 1.0 speed from there. So everyone has a different max speed if they have a different speed. And that's okay. It's just that Kane has the highest speed, and I would not ever want to have Kane's max speed without flight. Even with flight, that's a bit much. 
I believe Kane start Kane starts at like 1.23 speed. So that's like up to 2.23 speed, and I currently have 1.83, as blood bags I do believe are 0.3 speed up. So basically stupid. Okay. Whom do I want this boss to be? Someone that'll die from one use of the High Priestess. That's the ideal circumstance. Because I'm still on Angel Room possibility. And I still have like a pretty much guaranteed one if I don't take any red heart damage. So let's do that. It's the bloat. Oh my god. Well, my day's ruined. My day is very ruined. Oh, <laughs> bloat, calm down. Yeah. <sighs> Bloat's a totally fair boss, though. Don't get the impression that it's not. There's nothing unfair about it whatsoever. Although this one has the random bombs, which is a little bit bad. But the normal bloat, totally fine besides the uh, blood stuff it puts out, and that's mostly avoidable just by staying far away. Though sometimes it totally cheats and gives you way more than you should ever have to deal with. So I... This one, however, is kind of bad. Because it's constantly doing those bombs. Oh, that was insane! Alright. Could be dead. It's been very aggressive as well, if we haven't noticed that this bloat doesn't like me very much. Okay, calm down, bloat, please. Ah, oh, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. That barely reached me, but it reached exactly to me. It was just unfortunate. Because, like, look how far out that stuff is. Alright, so the top secret room is... N oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Evil. Evil bloat. Ah. Please stop. Okay, I thought that might happen. Uh, I think I'm gonna die. I really do. Oh, man, I ran right into that. That was my own fault. Well, that was unfortunate. That was an aggressive bloat, and that was a terrible run that I was going to turn into something good if I had at least a little bit of a chance. I did not, however. But I guess that's going to do it. That's oddly short, but it's something that I'm going to have to deal with, and sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed the run nonetheless. I was ready to turn it into something good. It was just the damage. You do need damage. But thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.